as you can see in the uh, screen I have drawn a rectangle of size 3 centimeter into 4 centimeter okay so its height is about let's say 3 centimeter so I have taken a block of size 3 by 4 by 3 but as it is a plan you can just see the top view of the object okay so now my aim is to draw a one point perspective of this given figure so first of all what I will do is I will try to draw a straight line somewhere here randomly I will take a line parallel to this object and perpendicular to this line long horizontal line which is known as picture plane okay now second step is I'll be extending the line to lower point as you can see this okay now on this line on this particular line here somewhere I'm giving the ground level okay so randomly I am selecting a point such that my whole object shall come in the space between the picture plane and ground line. So I am drawing a horizontal line which is known as ground line. It represents the ground level where the object is resting. Okay. So once I have this ground level, I am writing here GL. For convenience, I am writing it along the vertical line. Uh, in your actual drawing, you may write horizontally. As I am recording this drawing, so for me it is convenient to write in this direction. Now another point that I have to mark on this vertical line is known as vanishing point. Now as we are discussing as one point perspective the vanishing point will be one whenever I say one point it means there will be one vanishing point whenever I say two point perspective it means there will be two vanishing point in my drawing okay so right now I have I have to draw one point perspective of this object of this block which is of size three centimeter four centimeter into three centimeter okay so here uh, somewhere I will be taking an eye level on which I will get the vanishing point now for deciding the eye level uh, first of all consider that this height of block is 3 centimeter I want to see a bird eye view of this block that means I have to take eye level which is higher than the height of this object okay so what I will do is I will take eye level at say for example 6 centimeter I am taking my eye level at 6 centimeter I am drawing this with the help of a drafter you may draw it with t square and z square the method of drawing will be the same I am taking this 6 centimeter as eye level from ground that means my height of my eye is about 6 centimeter from the ground now this eye level will intersect this vertical line at vanishing point okay so this is the vanishing point that I am having. 
now my second task is to get the uh, you can say station point so in order to get the station point what i have to do is i'll again mark point somewhere here i'm taking my station point somewhere here okay i'm writing station point station point shows the point where we are standing the distance from the object so in perspective view we have to take the projection lines meeting at the station point in this fashion i'm taking all the projection lines of the object now the point of interest in this drawing is these points i am marking it this is 1 2 3 and 4 they mark the top and bottom of the corners respectively so in order to draw the perspective what i will do is i will start taking vertical projections from this point the points on the picture plane that i got i have to take them vertically in downward direction so this is the first point actually two points together i get this is the second point this is the third point and this is the fourth point these are the four points so the lines lie on these four points okay so i will start drawing always remember that in perspective whenever the side is touching the picture plane that means this side i'll be able to see that side in actual size that means the height of object side of object lying on this picture plane this is known as picture plane picture plane upar je rahe che object that that will be viewed as actual size that means i have to take the actual height that is 3 cm from here i am taking this dot another dot one horizontal line so this shows the face that lies on the picture plane okay now i have to take these two points so in order to take these two points what i have to do is i have to join this corner with vanishing point again this corner joining with vanishing point this corner joins with vanishing point
ओके नाउ आई विल कंप्लीट द पिक्चर हाउ शैल आई कंप्लीट आई हैव टू कंसीडर दिस कॉर्नर एंड दिस कॉर्नर ओके सो दिस कॉर्नर लाइज समवेयर हियर ओके दिस कॉर्नर लाइज समवेयर हियर सो व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज आई विल जॉइन these two lines on this plane okay so this line i'm getting then i will join this line with this dot third point this corner falls here and here i'll give a horizontal line to join which is parallel with this ground line okay so some this is how i'll get a station point a vanishing point if i take the station point somewhere here then this length will reduce okay in one point perspective you can take the station point and eye level as per your choice you can also take this distance of this vertical line from this object on either left side or right side or you can also take it on the center if i take it on uh, this vertical line in the center then this uh, the one point perspective will seem something like uh, the railway tracks the railway track view is also a one point perspective so this both sides will merge at a point in the center so in one point perspective the whole drawing depends on the way in which you are placing this vertical line either on left or right and the level of eye that you are adopting for viewing the object i hope this is clear in next video i'll go with another uh, alternative variation of perspective drawing